Come January, the Texas House of Representatives is already set to look drastically different, with several representatives ousted in the primaries. And those changes could come from the top down, with House Speaker Dade Phelan heading for a primary runoff and now already a challenger for the top job. It became clear to me that the status quo is too dysfunctional to continue, and a change from top to bottom is needed. A four-term Republican, Representative Tom Oliverson is known for, most recently, his work in carrying Senate Bill 14, the ban on gender-affirming care for trans minors in Texas. In a statement, incumbent Speaker Phelan writes in part, My focus remains on re-electing our Republican colleagues in runoffs and strengthening our majority in the Texas House. That includes his own race after he failed to garner a majority of votes in his primary, now heading to a runoff in May. And it wasn't a question of when he might be challenged for the speakership if he gets the opportunity to run for speaker again, but when he was going to be challenged. And so this is really probably only the first of at least a few entrants into this race. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who presides over the Senate, has made it no secret he wants Phelan out, endorsing Phelan's primary challenger, David Covey. At a public event on Thursday, Patrick stopped short of any outright criticisms of Phelan, but noted the tension between the House and Senate once again. We've got a Republican governor, Republican lieutenant governor, Republican speaker. It should be easy. But as long as the Democrats have control of the Texas House on key issues, it will never be easy, and that's why we are where we are today. House Democrats, meanwhile, are already criticizing Oliverson. With caucus chair Trey Martinez Fisher writing, Representative Oliverson asserted his top two priorities are passing private school voucher scams and dissolving bipartisan leadership in the Texas House, ending a House tradition that goes back to Sam Houston in the eighth legislative session. And Tom Oliverson is no Sam Houston. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.